Hi Gemini, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of January 2020. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Gemini, let's see what's going on with you in love for January 2020. Can you believe we're in January already? I just can't believe it. So Happy New Year, I guess. And this will be out before Christmas, so Merry Christmas. So let's see what's going on with Gemini in love. So if you're new to my channel, this is a love connection reading, so you have to have a connection with somebody. Um, you don't necessarily have to be exclusive or anything like that, but it has to be some sort of a connection where you're both aware of each other and both aware that there is some sort of connection there between you, whether you're together or not. And we'll see what energies we get for you. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, this is a Zodiac Oracle, is I'll get a sign. If you don't resonate with the sign that comes out here, oh, we could get a planet or an element um, but if you don't uh, resonate with that, that's totally fine. Then we'll get an overall um, energy with an oracle card. And then I'll also use that deck to get an energy for you and your person, each card. And then I'll use the tarot to clarify even deeper the energy between you, the situation, advice, possible outcome. And then we'll get another uh, oracle card here um, at the end to get more uh, clarity, extra message. So let's see, who do we have, Gemini? Well, we have Neptune. And Neptune is um, Pisces, so some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, have a Pisces in mind, or maybe they just have it heavily in their chart somewhere. If not, that is totally po uh, fine. Could just be the energy of Neptune, which is all about um, imagination, compassion, uh, psychic experiences, and balancing energies out. So we'll see if that plays into the reading at all. So next thing I'll do here with this oracle is get like an overall um, love energy between you and your person. If you're interested in what decks I'm using, they are listed down below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there. Feel free to check it out. If you'd like to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, I'm on Instagram, Leo Sunlight Insight, and I do um, readings on Instagram also. Pick a card readings. Okay, and um, if you don't get the notifications, I also post on there when I post new um, uploads on YouTube also and I have a Facebook page so there's tons of information down there feel free to check that out all right so oh, okay overall love energy for January for you and your person here is um, feeling alone so this is the I believe this is the five of Pentacles so this is about neglect uh, feeling alone abandonment rejected kind of energy so I don't know we'll see how that plays into your reading here between you and your person so so you might be in a separation right now or maybe one has left the other I don't know what your situation is now but um, we'll see so next thing I'm gonna do here um, Gemini I'm gonna call this side you Gemini and this side your person but if you feel like at any time the roles are reversed in any way at any time during this reading then please do that that's how tarot works all right so we do have trust so that's the fool energy so and sadness and isolation so wow so you have the energy here uh gemini or this could be a person here of wanting to reset everything back to zero taking a leap of faith jumping right in and trusting everything will be fine so you're ready um, that's the full energy to just jump right in and take a leap of faith here. But they have sadness and isolation here. So this is the three of swords energy here. So they're feeling, <laughs> so the overall energy between the two of you is feeling alone and they're feeling sadness and isolation from you. So... I know, but you're ready to jump in here. You're you're ready to take this leap of faith, but yet they're feeling sadness and isolation. Three of Swords energy sometimes can talk about a third party situation. Doesn't necessarily have to be a person. Can be a person, place, or thing. Um, kind of energy. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have giving and receiving. This is the Six of Pentacles. So this is a good energy of uh, equal reciprocation, balancing energy, equal give and take. So I feel like. There needs to be equal give and take in this connection in some way. Um, 
maybe they're isolating themselves from you for some reason, but by doing that, they're they're sad about that. But I mean, you're ready to like jump right in here, so I don't I don't really know um, exactly what's going on. So let's see uh, let's see what's going on here. I mean, maybe they're feeling sad. I mean, feeling alone. The Five of Pentacles energy that is. Um, Pentacles is all about like career and finance. So maybe you work a lot. Maybe you're working two jobs. Maybe you have long hours or you're always away. And they're feeling just very sad and lonely because you don't have enough time for them. That could also be the energy. Because that could be the Three of Swords energy. I mean, it could be working too much. The third party can be addictions, obsessions, working too much. Anything that interferes with a connection that there's just too much of. And it doesn't have to be another person. So... Let's see, let's clarify here for you, Gemini, um, this trust for you, for Gemini, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. So we have the Princess of Cups. Yeah, so this is uh, water energy. So this is loving communication. This is apologies, communication, terms of endearment, very loving communication. So maybe you're always apologizing. No, I'm sorry, I have to work late. I'm sorry, I have to go away. I have to travel this this or that and you know and I think they may be getting a little tired of that and they may be getting ready to walk away here so like looking out here um, in the in the distance at something else and you know there has to be some sort of equal give and take here so I don't know let's see let's see for them Queen of Cups so yeah they have a lot of love for you water energy here so that's that water, two cards of water here. And we did say that Neptune was Scorpio. So this is water energy. So they definitely, uh, male, female, doesn't matter here. Uh, they definitely do have a lot of love for you. Um, love, feelings, emotions, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. But as much as they love you, they're feeling some sadness, isolation, loss, feeling al alone. So let's clarify here the Princess of Cups for you, Gemini. Princess of Cups for you, Gemini. Temperance. So this is all, again, about balancing out energies. You know, so that is patience. You know, you want them to have patience with you. You know, and maybe you're always apologizing. I'm sorry, I just, I just have to do this, I have to do that, I have to work, whatever here saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I, I do love you. And they're like, they definitely have a lot of love for you. And, but temperance here again is about, I think you asking them, please be patient, you know, and balancing out the energy. So there's two cards here of balance. So there needs to be some sort of balance definitely in this connection. You know, temperance can be about, you know, healing energy. It can be about, um, Definitely is that's the angel that brings the soulmates together. So this definitely feels like it could be a soulmate connection here. So let's see what the Queen of Cups is for your person. The Princess of Wands. It's this fiery, passionate communication now. Um, it can be good news. It can be uh, there. I think they're waiting to get good news from you to say, okay, I don't have to travel so much. I don't have to work too much, so much. I now can dedicate more time to you in this connection, our relationship, or just commitment, you know. Um, I think they're waiting for that. And that Princess of Wands, you know, like I said, is fiery, passionate, exciting, communication, um, can be good news coming in. So I think they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting for that good news. Okay, so let's see what the actual situation is now. Here, So we have the Empress, right? That's not falling on your side. Emperor or Empress, doesn't matter. So some of you could own your own business, uh, just be like a, a high-ranking bo uh, boss that has to work a lot of hours. Something here with the Emperor or Empress, somebody who could um, own their own business or have a lot of responsibility in their career. Um, but the Empress, you know, Emperor Empress is somebody who takes charge, takes control. They know, know their value and their worth. But the Empress bring, uh, does give birth to new things. Um, stability, growth, you know, it's all there. Everything's there with the Empress energy. Everything in the tower was there in the Empress energy. So, okay. And it can be male, female here. doesn't matter here. So 
we have the Four of Swords. So this is rest, relaxa relaxation, recuperation, um, retreating, healing energy. So let's get one more. One more. I feel like you're working, resting, working, resting, working, resting, traveling, traveling, working, resting. <laughs> That's all you're, maybe all you're doing. And it's like you have no time for this connection. You want time for this connection. You know, you're trying to figure out how to balance energies here. But your person's just, uh, yeah, Queen of Swords energy here, air energy. So this always reminds me of divine energy, too. Also, with the Queen of Swords here, someone who's ready to, to, and it's on their side. So they're ready to, like, stand up and speak with truth and clarity, say, look, I'm about to, like, walk away here. I'm just tired of this. I want more. You can't give it to me right now. And I don't know if you will ever be able to. And I may just take my big sword here and just like cut you out. And you know, the Queen of Swords is all about truthful, honest communication, cut away, cutting away things not serving, standing up for themselves, not taking any BS, having truth and clarity. So from within, so uh, we'll see. So let's get a couple more to clarify the situation for you, Gemini. Gemini. The five of swords yeah so you may be in an energy here if you're working whatever this five of swords energy is a very sometimes egocentric kind of energy getting ahead at all costs all means you may be someone that's like i gotta go gotta go get ahead get ahead gotta you know i want to be the top dog i want to you know be you know at the top of my game and i'm gonna do whatever i can here to really accomplish what i want and it's just like but it can sometimes get in a negative energy. So that's the kind of like five of swords energy. It's like getting ahead at all means. You don't really care. Not that you don't care, but it's like, well, whatever happens, happens. I just need to get ahead. And it's just going full steam ahead, getting ahead. And whatever falls to the wayside, whatever happens, well, I guess that's what happens. You know, and I mean, it's, I think you do care about this person. Um, you do love them. But I think you're... A little more, uh, could be a little selfish uh, more on your career or whatever it is here. So let's get one more to death. Yeah, see, wow. So that's that Scorpio energy, death. So yeah, they're ready to take up this sword here and say, you know what? I'm done. The death is like, I'm done. <laughs> so they could be getting ready to say, I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm done, you know. It's not going anywhere, you know, you don't, you keep saying you have time and you don't have time and you keep saying, you know, I'll be able to give to this, this given receiving, but yet they still feel alone, isolated, heartbroken. Wow, Gemini. If this isn't you, Gemini, I mean, it could be your person and this is how you're feeling about them. So switch it if you feel like that's how it is. So let's see what your advice is, Gemini, or it could be your person's advice. So, Wow. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. So this is about ending burdening energy, ending too much responsibility. And the Six of Swords is about traveling and going into a better place, a more healing, um, peaceful, harmonious place. So somebody in here needs to, oh, no, it's the Two of Wands. I'm sorry. I thought it was the Ten of Wands. Uh, two of Wands. Yeah. So this is making plans, decisions for the future. Somebody needs to decide here what needs to be done so this can be healed and go into a more calmful, peaceful, harmonious place. Somebody needs to make some decisions on the future of this connection, whether it's you or them. So we could go into a better place here with the Six of Swords energy. All right, so let's get a few more for your advice or your person's advice, however this resonates for you. So let's get two more for Gemini to clarify these advice. The strength and the six of cups. Wow. So strength and the six of cups. So we have strength, you know, so this could be a very strong bond. And the six of cups here is soulmate energy. Someone you could have had past lives with, someone you've known for a very long time from your childhood, thinking back on with fun memories, nostalgia on the past. So definitely soulmate energy here. It's a very, very strong bond. So somebody needs to make a decision here. Do I want this connection to go to a better place? What can I do 
to save this, to save this connection before somebody walks away with the death card here and decides just to end it and take that sword and cut it off. So in strength here, you know, somebody needs to muster up all their strength, confidence, and um, do what they need to do so they don't lose their soulmate here. Definitely soulmate energy here, whether it's you or them. Taming the Beast Within with the Strength card. Um, and that could be over here somebody who's just very strong-willed, you know, because it's falling on this side. So whoever this person is, very strong-willed, um, very concentrated on work, career, finance, or something here. Even though they love the other person, they're just, you know, and wanting to take a new start, and wanting, you know, that relationship. It's just they're not balancing out their energy, and they need to. And this person here is waiting, waiting for them to get their balance, to have time for them. But they may be done waiting and they may decide just to cut this off and walk away. So somebody needs to make a decision to save this. It's definitely a heavy soulmate energy here. Very strong bond. So whether it's you or them, Gemini, however it resonates for you. So let's see what the possible outcome could be here for Gemini. The world. So, you know, the world talks about ending cycles and starting new cycles. Traveling. So you could be traveling a lot or your person could be traveling a lot. And that's why they're gone all the time. Traveling, working, whatever here around the world. Like very, very busy. But the world is also about expansion and growth. So, I mean, this can grow into something beautiful. But this also can be about ending cycles and starting new cycles. So somebody could decide here just to end this or end their ways so there can be a new cycle with this person. So let's clarify that world here for your possible outcome. So we have the Five of Wands and the Prince of Cups. So we have conflict, conflict, mental conflict, conflict around you. And then we have the Prince of Cups, which is taking action, you know, uh, in a love offer, uh, very loving, compassionate energy, taking action. So, you know, the five of wands there, conflict, um, could be competition. So somebody here may decide to end the conflict, the competition, may see that maybe their person, other people are watching them and have interest in them and they're getting worried. So they may decide to end this cycle of how things have been going and finally come and step forward with a definite love offer here with, this, with their person. Or somebody may be just too conflicted to come forward to solidify this in love, to close it out, to start a new world with this person. But let's see what's on uh, the bottom of the deck. The lover. So, yep, okay, Gemini, that's your energy. So, yep, I do see two soulmates coming together here. So somebody will get, get worried. Somebody will be worried here about conflict or competition. Their person may be you know, having eyes for other people that may be competing for their attention and finally deciding, okay, I need to step up here with my love offer to solidify this so we can start a new chapter together as lovers. So that's what I see. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing, things going in a better direction. So that's good energy. So, yep, I do see things going in a better direction. Somebody choosing to be lovers here, to be soulmates to have soulmate union. Um, yeah, somebody serving justice here in an energy where there was boredom, complacency, um, people just waiting, not satisfied for what, how the situation was, so now justice will be served um, in this connection. Truth, clarity, balance. This is all about balance also with justice, so justice coming in here. And there's the um, passionate communication Fast action, someone taking facts, fast action to wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. So I do see wish fulfillment, someone taking action with passionate communication for wish fulfillment. Um, getting out of this energy of people being bored, not satisfied with the connection. Having justice in the connection, balancing things out, triple communication. Here, fate, destiny, divine timing, something meant to be, going in a better direction. And soulmate union here between two lovers, Gemini. Wow, Gemini. So either you or them, someone will choose over this third-party energy if it's work, career, whatever here. 
will choose you or whatever, or you will them over um, whatever energy is affecting the um, connection. So good, good for you, Gemini. All right, so let's get an extra message here for you, Gemini, in this connection. So for the um, signs, I did say Scorpio there, and then we have your energy here with Gemini. We have Sagittarius. We have Libra. I don't want to get too heavy into the signs. And then we have Aquarius. Uh, let's see. Scorpio. I'm just doing the majors here. Uh, Leo. Sagittarius again. Uh, let's see here. Earth uh, world here reminds me Earth signs and the fixed signs. I'm not too sure about the fixed signs, but um, the Empress is, uh, let's see, Libra Taurus. So those are the energies I see. All right, so let's get, but we have basically all the signs here, so I wouldn't get too caught up on all the signs. All right, so let's get an extra message here for you. Another message here for Gemini. In this, okay, focus. 73 and 10, and you see the heart all lit up here, so focus. I definitely feel like somebody needs to focus more of their attention on this connection than whatever else they're focused on over here, or they're going to lose the connection. And it's, I do feel it's a heavy, heavy soulmate energy. You don't want to lose this connection, whether it's you or them. So somebody is changing their focus, putting more focus on the soulmate union. Seven and three is 10, which is the ending of that third party energy. It doesn't have to be another person. And one is a new beginning, so new beginnings here. So let's see if there's anything else for you, Gemini. Oh, oh that's way too many. Okay, I guess this one. Soul mating. Wow. And I not, not just say seven, 34, seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. And that I not just say I felt heavy soulmate energy here. So somebody is cho will choose their soulmate over, um, I feel like it's work, career, traveling, or something like that. I'm not getting like a third party, like another person, uh, or anything like that. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have authentic truth. Four, so that stability, foundation, the basis, and people being authentic and truthful with one another to bring justice into this connection. So nice energy, Gemini. Wow, all right, Gemini. Uh, if you're new and you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. They're all different, and I do a lot of bonus readings. So don't miss out on that. And if you do subscribe and hit the bell, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel, all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading. If you tipped or donated or anything like that or super chatted, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Gemini, best of luck to you and uh, wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.